Hey everyone! So today we are working on a hexagon canvas and we're going to do a boilermaker. We haven't done one in a while, um, especially with the colors that I have chosen today. But the first thing I'm going to do is pour some white into my cup to make sure I have enough paint in there. I'm going to probably have a little uh, extra paint because the shot glass is tall. So we'll be pouring some off. And I'll probably pick it up for skins, so it's not a big deal. I don't usually waste too much paint. Okay, so I do want to spray that shot glass, though, because sometimes that first color in doesn't come out. So I just sprayed it with WD-40 silicone spray. And I'm just going to rub it in just a little bit. And that's the one in the black can. And I have this in my Amazon shop. Okay, so first color in is Artist Loft Iridescent Medium that I mix with the Grumbacher Prussian Blue. So I'm going to put that in the bottom. Then I'm going to use the Parage Posse Morning Pansy Shimmer. Next is the Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta. And then the Praj Passi Christina's Laguna, which is just a little brighter Naples yellow than what you're used to seeing, but I love that color. So we'll go ahead and add some more of the Prussian Blue Mix. Morning Pansy. The Magenta. And the Naples yellow color. Alright, so we have to do our kerplunk, and it did cover, so we're good. <laughs> There's a lot of paint for this canvas, so we probably will have a lot of white running off. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip. And I heard the shot glass hit the canvas, so we're good. I'll let that set for a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So all this white should have dropped down pretty well. A little tiny bit of color coming out, not much. That's a lot of white. <laughs> so what I like to do when I do these, and of course I do have some color in there, but I know it's not like underneath the white. So I like to just wiggle the cup and just put it through the paint. But I want to make sure that I keep enough color in the middle. And I did get some green, which I was really hoping for. So we'll set that aside. That usually makes me a very pretty skin as it drains. So I'm going to go ahead and give that just a little torch. Just to pop some air bubbles. Ooh, look at that. Cool. So we already got a little caterpillar. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to stretch this out now. So where I see the most colors where I want to avoid running to. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this around. Now remember my base paint is thinner than my pouring paint. So I want to try to keep that paint together. Okay, so I'm going to start taking off. Without losing too much color. I did get rid of that caterpillar. But we have to get some of this paint off so we don't have anything going on. And with the heaters running in the winter time, your paintings are more apt to crack, so you want to make sure that you always get enough paint off. The white just loves to crack in the winter time. So I kind of like that right there. I would love to get rid of that white right there, but if I do that, I'm going to lose that there.
Let me pull a little bit this way. See if I can get it all together again. See if I can get that white patch off there. And then I can, now that I've got it together, I should be able to bring that down. So you do a lot of rocking so the paint goes in a stream. And that should help me get that big bunch off. Okay. So now I'm going to bring it all the way back. Okay. Got some good colors in there. And I'm happy I got just a little hints of green here and there. But this iridescent Prussian blue is going to be absolutely gorgeous when it dries. Because it's sparkling already. So let's torch. And we should get a few more cells coming up. Don't get anything in this white, I don't think, because I don't think there's any paint underneath it. So let's let this set for 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. We might get some more cells developing. But for you, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I did get some little ones that grew a little bit. And some of the other little ones that we torched in um, also are growing up a little bit. But um, I'm really loving this iridescent. And I will show you that in one second. Let's get these ends wiped off so we don't keep pulling color over the sides. So there is the iridescent. I wish you guys could see the sparkle on that. But we've got some really cute little cells in there some little pops of color but I'm liking it a lot I love the trails of cells that you get on these but that's it for that one guys um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already click on the bell for notifications click like share leave a comment uh, join us every Monday night at 9 p.m. right here on the channel uh, we do live pouring from 9 to 11 also, Sunday, March 8th, is our auction for St. Jude's. 75% of our proceeds are going right to St. Jude's. And um, get yourself a nice piece of artwork, and your money goes to a good cause. So take care, everyone, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye now.